Hi everybody, it's Dr. Patricia Coughlin. My first video from Colorado. And this is gonna be the first in a series on the dangers and pitfalls of implementing ISTDP in a formulaic fashion without a clear understanding of the patient's dynamics, without having a clear case conceptualization, and also without reference to context. Where are you in the process? Is it the first session, a 10th session, 30th? Um, what's been going on? How does this compare to how the patient came in? So I'm gonna start with an example that came up recently in a supervision. Uh, this was only a second session of uh, a patient who had a tendency, she had conflict around anger, had a tendency to turn it back on herself and get tired and depressed and hopeless. And this was especially true in her marriage. So rather than bringing up conflicts that needed to be addressed, she'd swallow it. This was creating more distance. And so she really wanted to do something about it. She was actually quite motivated and also very responsive. In fact, the therapist was able to do really good uh, work with her around this conflict, how she got anxious in the face of her anger, turned it back on herself, shut down, withdrew, how this created both her symptoms but also her problems in her marriage. She was then able to see that being able to tolerate the experience of this anger um, so that she could express herself appropriately and constructively would be the goal. The therapist was also sharp enough uh, to suggest at the end of that session that um, this might come up in their own relationship and she encouraged the patient to speak up if there was anything she was angry about. And so in the next session, in fact, the patient came in and said, you know, I have to tell you, I really feel angry about being left waiting. You know, I have a busy schedule and I make sure to get here on time and you were 10 minutes late. So the question is, what do you do with this? So if you're just thinking about ISTDP in a rote way, doing ISTDP, right? You're gonna ask her, how do you experience that anger? You might go for a portrait, try to get a breakthrough. And yet we have to ask, why would you do that? What's happening for this patient, given her problem and given the context, all right? She's telling you directly and appropriately, I feel angry about your being late. There's no anxiety and there's no defense. Why then, why? Right, would you pursue that therapeutically? Why would you go for a breakthrough? You really wouldn't. You would actually see the therapeutic change and highlight that. You're already in a working through phase, right? So glad you told me, right? And, and then, you know, ask her again, how, did, how does she feel it? Or, uh, you know, um, what, you know, really, again, it's sort of a corrective emotional experience that, because in fact, when she would try to speak up with her husband, he would dismiss her um, and he wouldn't really take the feedback. And so uh, being able to say, I totally get it. Um, and it's so great that you told me this is the same, you know, dynamic with your husband, right? That he's not showing up uh, here. You told me and I'm able to accept that, apologize. Um, what is that like, you know, to be heard and understood, right? So you have to understand, again, what is the issue for the patient and where are they in the process? Since she is already dealing with her anger in a constructive way, then to me, the, the point is to underline that change and to process what it's like to be heard, to be understood, to be respected, um, and also to have a repair, as opposed to uh, what happens in the relationship with her husband. So again, I, I hope 
this example is, is a good one to help you think about. You always want to know why you're doing what you're doing. And to say, oh, that's what we do in ISTDP is not really a good answer. It has to be specific to the patient, given what you're seeing, what the problem is, and what the goal is. Okay? And there'll be more to come. Please let me know anything that you specifically struggle with that you want addressed. Thanks. Bye.